Hey guys, welcome back. It's Kyle Chris here. Bringing you guys on the video today. And today you're actually going to see probably the same setup in like three different videos because I'm recording all of them at the same time. I think the problem is... Um, funny story, I ended up putting out the Metacooler video that you probably just watched, if not, you probably watched it maybe a day ago, and, um, no. <clears throat> hey guys, Kyle and Chris here, bringing you guys another video. You're probably wondering, why am I wearing the same thing in the last three videos? Well, um, funny enough, I'm actually recording all these videos at the same time. <laughs> so, uh, I ended up recording the Metacooler video, which you probably just got done watching because it came out, uh, maybe a few hours before this video did and uh, I recorded it and for some reason it decided not to upload for some reason so I don't know YouTube kind of kind of screwed me on that one but you're getting two green videos today and this one's going to be the other cooler which I think is the better cooler which is the uh, um, just normal cooler or the cooler cooler so to speak right sorry bad joke anyways we're gonna go over the leader here and we'll start here with the uh, this side and uh, honestly when I read this leader I got very excited. I actually got so excited that I started pricing out green cards again. And I don't play green. I, I mainly play black now. And I don't know why. I, I think I had the same feeling when I played um, King Cold. And I thought it was a very unique deck. And I haven't even seen the full... Oh, obviously, we've only seen, like, what, the leader and then three unisons as of right now. Uh, at least since the making of this video. So, I was very interested to just kind of look at this leader and the, the kind of the, the concepts that could come from this and more so what they may have to do printing card wise to counter a deck like this right so we're gonna go over the actual the actual list or you know the cards and then you guys can kind of you know we'll, we'll we'll sort of talk about it a little bit so cooler auto add one card from life to your hand when this card attacks you may draw a card if you do not play up to one green unison with a specific cost of one from your hand with a marker on it all right, second auto. Auto once per turn when one of your green uh, unison cards is placed in your drop area, draw one card. This does not say once on my turn, once on your opponent's turn, it's just once per turn. So basically both turns, if your unison goes away, you get to draw a card. I think that's very good. Uh, second, um, your awaken, which does not have a secondary awaken condition. Uh, when your life is at four or less, you draw a card, restand an energy, um, and flip over. I find this very interesting because I think the, um, the unison coup... Uh, I refuse to use the other name because everyone's using that name. But uh, the, unis the unison coup, the yellow yard rat guy, I think he also awakens a four life, which is very strange because um, they've been on this real big kick of having leaders awaken early or have some sort of other secondary awakening condition. And for these to not have that is very interesting. And I think there's a potential reason for that, maybe just for like power creeping purposes. Um, this side, Cooler Galactic Dynasty. Uh, when this card attacks, you may draw a card. If you don't, play up to one green unison with a specific cost of one um with a, with a marker on it from your hand i know this is obviously pretty good uh, I, I do think it's good that you draw first because if it said you may play a unison and if you don't you may draw a card then your opponent has to counterplay the first window if they if there ends up being unison counterplays which i do believe there will be unison counterplays eventually maybe in the next set Pro actually probably not the next exact set but maybe the the set afterwards once they actually you know reveal this zenkai boost effect whatever it's going to be right uh, auto when you when, when one of your green unisons is placed in drop in your drop area draw one card okay and then activate battle choose one green unison card from your hand choose this card uh, and up to or up to or up to one of your green unisons and it gets 5k for the battle this is really cool this is super cool I like this effect this is essentially a better version of the unison coup right being able to just combo unisons off of your hand and it's not once per turn that's the thing this is just activate battle this is dark broly-esque right let's let's let's, re let's if we remember that if we go down memory lane or you know, go down the ptsd of getting whooped on by dark broly right the fact you can just combo off those zero k's make them five k's was nuts right this you can just every all your unisons are fine you can just run all these unisons it's like ah, cool i still have 5k combo power that's amazing that is amazing um Problem is, like, the card maybe that says you can't activate skills on other cards. Actually, no, it would be leader. So actually, it wouldn't matter. Yeah, well, it wouldn't matter. Never mind. Pfft, doesn't matter. This, so this is a very cool effect. I, um, I really like this effect. I think this is one of the best generic green leaders we've seen in a while. Like, King Cold, um, I want to say it's generic because it, it's very archetype focused, right? I think probably the most generic green leader we have uh, is probably like green Gotenks, right? 
um, or like starter Broly, right? Uh, this is very cool because it just, it's, you, you, you know, you don't have to play the unison. Like if you don't play the unison, you just draw a card, right? When you when your unison dies or you replace it, you draw a card. Uh, so you're just drawing. And then you have this activate battle where you can just combo unisons and just draw. Like that's I mean, like just get, just gain 5k power. Like that's amazing. All right. So I think we got three unisons, right? Uh, Salza, Salza, right? Dor, Dor? I don't know how to spell pronounce this guy. I actually didn't watch these movies. And then knees, 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 something like that. Yeah, we're just gonna just not 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 even gonna go over the names. We're just gonna go over the effects, right? So they're all coolers, armored squadrons. So this is a rare. Uh, empower two, uh, one drop, ten k. Counterplay. Play this card with a marker on it. This is the first time we are getting a very unique type of card being counterplay unisons. We don't have those yet, right? You have the um, counterattack King Vegeta, right? The um, uh, inv Invasions Commander or whatever that card's called. The really cool like three drop unison, right? Um, and you play it, but it doesn't have an actual effect when you play it, right? This card says auto. If your leader is a green Frieza clan, this card is this card has three more markers on it. When this card is played, choose one of your opponent's battle cards and it cost a center less and KO it. Essentially, this is a Frieza's charismatic villain in unison form. That is incredibly cool, right? Also, because you're gonna play this probably for one energy, right? That's the other thing. So you're playing this for one energy, um, or two, right? Um, if you empower, right, and then if you go up to three markers. You're gonna replace your other unison, draw a card, and then play this, and then kill something seven or less. Also, so far there's no cards that, for, to my knowledge, that counterplay unisons um, to where it's not able to be played, right? Obviously you have Ultimate Dragon Slaying Bullet, it's probably the only card right now. And I'm sure they're gonna end up printing more, but this is an incredibly powerful ability. And then the Activate Main is plus, plus one, this card just gets 5k for the turn. So it doesn't, doesn't do anything else other than that, but the fact that you can just draw a card and then KO something with when you empower this is just it's amazing um next one uh plus one this card gets 10k so this becomes a 15k and i think the other one is a 10k right yeah, the other one 10k also in power two if this card is three more marks on it, when this card is played add up to one cooler card and then it costs of one to your deck from your hand and shuffle your deck this card's also cool too i i need to look at like cooler cards because it just says cooler so it can be any color cooler um can be meta cooler just has to be a cooler card I'm sure they're going to print some in the set, potentially in the TP set. Um, but the fact that this just allows you to search your entire deck, not top five, is very good, right? Even if you don't have a cooler card, right? You can just play this for three markers. Like when this card comes into play for three markers, you get to draw a card off your leader effect if you, you know, empower. And then you can just search your deck and then just see what's in your deck. Especially if this is early, you can just see what's what you got going on in there, right? Um, that's super good, right? You being able to just search your deck and say, okay, I have my super combos in here, my secret rares in my deck, my other engine pieces are in my deck. That's great. That means they're not in my life. That's just that's just very good information. You don't get a lot from a lot of different cards and different archetypes, except for maybe like the one drop Kid Q, right? Where you can search the deck for a four star ball. That card's incredibly powerful in a lot of black decks just because you can search your deck. Even if you don't want to grab a ball, you can just search your deck. So I think this is a very decent card. And it's a rare too, which is all of these are rares. Uh, and then this guy is a counterattack. Play this card with a marker on it. Uh, if this card is played with three or more markers on it, when this card is played, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and it can't attack until the end of your opponent's next turn. This card is also very good, right? Uh, what's cool about this card is that the counterattack plays it with a marker on it, right? So, so if you play this for one energy, right? It is a counter. It's it's a counterattack negate, right? So you play this guy, then you gain a marker, so it goes up to two. If you replace a unison at any point, the empower effect on this card will trigger. So then if it has a marker on it, you go up to three, right? You're replacing the card that you played, which then will draw you a card off of your leader effect if it's the first time you've done it that turn. And you get to negate an attack that is uncounterable. You can't counterplay this card. You can counter counter it, but you can't counterplay it right now. And then you just choose a battle card and then can't attack. Especially like if it has dual attack or something, it, it, that, that's amazing. Um, now, I may be reading these cards all wrong, and I'm sure somebody will let me know in the comments. I'm sure somebody will. But the fact that, like, if, 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 if read correctly, this card, these cards are really good, right? Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what else is going to be printed. I really hope um, they print some form of SPR or, like, s some sort of SR unison to go with this deck, um, which is... 
realistically what this deck needs if um I think this is a good set for green for this for this particular deck and if we continue to just get good cards this deck can be pretty cool I, I, I like so far what I see and generally I'm not that type of person I I generally hate a lot of these decks when they come out or at least like the like the concept of them right and then it takes me a little bit to kind of go okay you know this this is this is cool this is cool this is cool this is one that I actually like just directly off of the reveal so um yeah I think this is I think this can be very interesting very very interesting i'm uh interested to see and also just very excited just to see what other cards come out for this color because uh i may end up wanting to grab up some green cards i'm definitely looking at it right now um i i, I saw the, i saw the leader and everything i was like okay let me go price out some dormants and stuff and see see how much things are gonna be um but that is it for this video thank you guys again for watching thank you guys for all the support that you guys have given me i appreciate it make sure you guys like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video